Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. So today we are going to be answering a finance related question in The Sims 4. Specifically finances around rental units. I have my Sim here, her name is Alexis. She's just come into a pretty substantial amount of money, a million simoleons. She does have quite a small little house in Willow Creek, so she could use it to buy herself a mansion. However, Alexis is a smart girl. She's a businesswoman. So instead of spending that money on buying a new house for herself, she's going to invest it in rental properties. I've built about four properties that have several units. Altogether, there are 50 units. And basically, the question we're gonna answer today is, how many rental payments does it take to get a return on investment or to make any kind of profit? I imagine the cost of these buildings will be pretty close to a million, so we'll be keeping track of how much we've spent on all of our properties. And then we're also gonna see how much money we get paid as a landlord and we can use our first payment as a way to work out how many weeks we would have to rent out our rental units before we make that million back. When do we actually start making profit, you know? When does it become worth it? So we are going to start off by buying a residential rental. That's if this works, because I did film a video where we were going to rent out a hundred units with Nancy Landgrab and uh, my game crashed. It was not possible, didn't work. I had the issue where even though I kept buying rental units, it kept saying that I didn't own a property. So I'm hoping that with 50, I might not have this problem. So all of my buildings look the same. These are the buildings. One of them is only one story high though, just to make sure they equal 50 apartments. I'm not gonna bother unhiding all of them, but this is what they look like. They're pretty basic. Just a small little living area, kitchen, living room, bathroom, and one single bedroom. So it's kind of perfect spot for young adults who've just moved out of home, or maybe students. Just a little space to call their own. This unit is worth, this property is worth 237,957. So I'm gonna keep track of the cost of all of my units. Okay, first unit paid for. Where's all our money gone? We had a million. This property was only worth 237,000. How have we spent all that money? Maybe that's a glitch or something, but it doesn't matter anyway. Our starting funds don't really matter because we're only gonna be working out when we make profit from the cost of these properties. So fine, fine. We will head home. Hopefully it doesn't say that I don't own any units. Okay, we have our vacancies. Right, let's fill vacancy. I'm gonna see how many of these I can get to like close to the max. Oh, I have a sim here who can afford to pay 119. Right, let me just go back. We'll just change that. I'm gonna try and get paid as much as I possibly can per unit. So 119, there you go. Okay, what's the highest income of this one? 107, okay, 107 it is. Right, I'm probably just gonna do these um, without much commentary, otherwise it might be a bit boring for you to watch me fill vacancies for 50 different units. 14 units at Arid Ridge, completely filled. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. So I have daily rental income of 1,500 simoleons. Let's go and buy another residential rental. We have another apartment complex here in Del Sol Valley. Although this one is worth 613,000. Oh, maybe I'll buy that one after I get myself a bit more money. Maybe we'll buy the smaller one. This one has less units. I think this one's got about eight units. So we'll go ahead and buy this one too. And then I might need to give us another million simoleons. I have noticed several glitches since building my rental lot units and setting them as units. So uh, yeah, quite a few glitches. But that's fine, that's all good. So now we have our Brindleton Bay property. We will go ahead and go home. We'll just go home, fill those vacancies. And then I guess we might need another million simoleons. Oh, I didn't check the price. Okay, never mind. that's fine, whatever. Let's just fill these vacancies and then I'll double check the price of that, that building. Okay, so now I have filled up all of my units. My 14 units in Oasis Springs and my eight units in Brindleton Bay. We have a daily rental income of 2,151 simoleons. Quite high tax though, 1,100. Why is the tax so high? 50 simoleons per unit, what a piss take. Okay, I'm gonna give us another, 
put us back to a million, buy ourselves another residential rental. This time we will go for the one in Del Sol Valley. So this is another big boy one. This one also has 14 units. They all look exactly the same. It's just copy paste job. I don't really know what the point of it is to take you here to travel only then for you to not be able to do anything until you go home, but okay, fine. So if I minus my tax, I'm basically making a grand a day from 22 units. That means it would take so long to get our money back from the investment in these properties. Just doesn't seem right. I wonder if there will even be enough sims for me to rent to. Okay, 36 units now, all full of residents. Perfect, so my daily rental income is now 3,098. That still doesn't sound a lot though, does it? Suppose it is daily, so after a week we'll probably get a fair chunk of that. And our daily unit tax though is 1,800. So out of that three grand, we're only actually making like less than 1,500. Okay, well finally, we are now gonna go and buy the very last, which is in Newcrest, which it looks like I can't afford. Okay, I have to get some more money. Okay, perfect. So this is my last unit. Once I finished getting people moved into there, then I guess all I can really do, I mean, my plan really is to just kind of have this as passive income. So we're gonna go about our life, like we're gonna get a job, we're just gonna play through a normal week probably speed through it. If we get any jobs along the way, you know, that rental units need some help, then obviously we'll do our bit, we'll see what we can do. We'll try and be a good landlord, try and, you know, increase our property value as much as possible. But generally speaking, we're just gonna play through a week just to see what we get paid. I know I've got my daily rental income there, but to be honest, I'm just a bit confused as to why my tax is so high. So I guess we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna fill all my vacancies and then we'll see how the week goes. I have noticed that my game is kind of um, broken. I have 48 vacancies filled, but for some reason it's not letting me fill any more vacancies. I think, I think my game is throwing a little bit of a wobbly. I might just have to give it a bit of time before I fill those vacancies because um, the game is not liking it, not liking it one bit. But you know what? We've got further than I thought we would. We have 50 rental units, so I th and all of their terms will be up in seven days. So hopefully next Tuesday we'll go, we'll get paid. So, but for right now, Alexis, I think we better find ourselves a job, don't you? Find something to spend our time on. Why don't we become a salary person? Happy days, we have work in 21 hours. Well, Alexis, I don't know about you, but I am still thriving off of the thrill of all of that excitement, all that property purchasing, filling vacancies. So I'm just gonna let you enjoy your day. I don't think we'll really get up to too much this week, but I'm hoping that over the course of the week we'll have a pop-up or two telling us that one of our properties needs our attention. So it's Wednesday morning. We're gonna be going to work within the hour. I did, while I just let Alexis get on with her Tuesday, enjoy her day off yesterday, I did have a quick look at how much our properties cost. And this is where I'm a bit worried that maybe there's something that I'm just not, not getting, or whether maybe there's some kind of glitch in my game, but I had a look at the value of all of the four properties we own, and the value of all of them combined is 839,000 666 which is fine i mean that's the number that i can divide by however much we get paid at the end of the week well on tuesday to work out how many weeks it would take to make that money back however that's not what we paid for these properties i had to put in quite a few money cheats i mean some of those properties were like 600k so i don't know why we paid 600k for some of those properties when like the value of them is 235,000. if any of you know please put that in the comments because i'm a bit baffed by that i'm a bit confused i don't know whether it like takes into account your um your tax when you buy the unit that could be it if that's the case, then we should get the full rental income amount and we won't pay tax. But I sort of feel like... Oh, sing loud or proud. But I sort of feel like, um... Oh no, we have a tenant revolt. Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't even be on here though. It wouldn't say what the daily unit tax is if that was something that I paid up front. I have a tenant revolt in Nine Arid Ridge. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish work early 
and travel to Nine Arid Ridge. I think this is it, Oasis Springs. Um, which one's number nine? Rivera, okay, let's pop over, just check in, see if they're okay. We don't want a tenant revolt on day one. So yeah, I'm just, I'm a little bit confused by that. Maybe I'm just being a dipshit. I mean, it would make sense if I was being a dipshit. That's usually the case. Promise better conditions. But in order to figure out, you know, this whole money question of how we can, like, how much money can you actually make while renting 50 rental units? I'm just gonna have to go by the amount that these properties are worth and just use that as, like, a baseline. Because my thoughts right now are that it's probably some kind of, like, glitch. Okay, right, I'm promised and change. Promised and change, guys. You guys are so angry you're inside each other. I've been there. I think that revolt is over. I think it was over before it began. Right, Rivera, it's your property that everyone's gathering around for. Let's just do a quick introduction. Congratulate on new job. There we go, a little bit of small talk. Okay, commend tenants. There we go. Give you some, some good news. Okay, now I've promised better conditions. So, can we say that that's been handled now? I'm gonna head home. You guys enjoy your pet adoption drive. I'd say that revolt has been handled beautifully. By me. Okay, yeah, so basically, I think I'm just gonna let, um... Alexis, you could just do what you want to do this week. I'll probably check in on you here and there. Not very often. It's your life. You do what you want. Sorry that you had to miss work. I mean, you are... You probably could. Um, I mean, you are a salary person. There might be an option for you to go back in. Dance to company anthem. Okay, maybe not. Okay, well, you just enjoy your evening. Maybe we'll get a, a clean day tomorrow. No revolts. Nothing to worry about, but you just enjoy your week and I'll just check in periodically. It's Saturday and we've been hit with an insect infestation at number one inner circle. So I think we better deal with that. Which one's inner circle? Del Sol Valley? Okay. Number one, let's go over there. Deal with those insects. Apparently I didn't handle the tenant revolt because I had like a playful mood buff for getting away with it. Because the tenants managed to figure it out on their own apparently. Okay, knock on door. We're not a lazy landlord. We will fix this problem. Okay, oh wow, there's quite a lot here. Um, stomp on the bugs. Let's just stomp on all of them because it saves us a bit of money. Some more over there. Stomp on them. I think there's five. Oh my god, look at the state of this bathroom. Oh, disgusting. What the fuck have you been doing in here, Neilani? You've been shitting on the floor? There's no smoke without fire. This is what a good landlord looks like. These uh, vermin bugs have gotten smaller since The Sims 2. In The Sims 2, they were like behemoths. They were massive boys. All right, this is the fifth one now, so well, this should be a job well done. Oh, there we go. Exceptional job taking care of the nasty insect infestation at one inner circle. Unit rating went up. Neilani fancies me. She's obviously happy with my hard work. Pest impatience. All right. That's our job for today. Got, that's our job for today done. Let's head back home. Eagerly await payday. It's now Tuesday, a week since we started moving tenants into our rental property. I did see, I haven't paid them yet, um, my bills. 17,998. So I guess that doesn't get knocked off my rent. So total, so I'm going to put this down to other taxes, which is minus 17,500 per week. So I guess once we do get paid our rent, I'll have to take that and then subtract the 17 and a half grand to figure out how much profit we actually make. Oh no, a tenant household has been vacated. Their former unit is now unoccupied. Oh shit. Well, you didn't even pay your rent though. How has that happened? How has someone just managed to vacate without paying their rent? Which fucker is it? Seven, view agreement. Oh, my game doesn't want, doesn't want to work for me. It must be that one. Because all the other ones, yeah, all the other ones are full. It's this fucker right here, number seven, Arid Ridge. That is some bullshit, man. That is some bullshit. I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't get paid. Because um, when I've played as a landlord before, I have always got paid. I know quite a few people, when For Rent came out, couldn't get paid as a landlord for some reason. But I didn't have that problem. I am starting to get a little bit worried now. I think because my game is bugging out in so many other ways, it's kind of making me a bit paranoid that I might not get paid. <laughs> in which case, I'm just gonna have to take my daily rental income and just work it out. Which will sort of take some of the fun out of it, but you know, at least I have a plan B if it doesn't work out. Usually Sims get paid their royalties and things at like 10am, so I'm anticipating that while we're at work, 
will probably get paid. Have a great day. You smash it, girl. You smash it. I have 24 hours to pay my bills. Well, maybe if I got paid my rent, then I'd be more inclined to pay my bills. How about that? Okay, getting into the afternoon now. No rent paid yet. <laughs> All right, well, it's the end of our work day. I, th I guess I could give it another day. I'll give it until Wednesday. That way it's like definitely enough time to get paid rent. And if I don't get paid this time tomorrow, then I'm just gonna have to use my daily unit amount. But that would be really frustrating because that will mean that this is broken. Which I know a lot of people, a lot of you already know, but it wasn't broken for me before. <laughs> Keeping a close eye on my funds. Now my power's been shut off. I mean, I know I've got plenty of money in the bank, but that is not the point. I'm starting to think I'm just not gonna get paid rent. This entire experiment has gone to shit. So basically I'm now gonna be paying tax for properties that I'm not making any money on because I should have been paid by now. It has been over a week. I'm gonna check my mail. And there's my bills there, gloating, taunting me. Oh, that is such a shame. This was such a waste of time. I mean, we can still work out how many weeks it would take to get our money back, but playing through an entire week was a waste of time. And I sort of feel like this experiment has gone to pot a little bit because I ended up paying almost three times the value of the rental properties, and I don't know why. We're a week in and I haven't received any rent, but I have received my tax, and I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, I know that the game can sort of be a bit buggy when you've got mods or if you're like using loads of units, but the maximum amount of units is 100, or sorry, 99. And even with 50, it doesn't work. I think that's the reason why, because every time I've played as a landlord with like six rental units, I've always been paid. But that's just a bit of a shame, you know? We sort of accidentally ended up breaking the game. <laughs> so I suppose this experiment proved something. What would it take for full rent to break your game? All right, well, let's just use what we have to try and answer the question from this video. So if my daily rental income is 3,847, and that's per day, so for seven days I'd make 26,929, minus the 17 and a half grand I have to pay for taxes. I'm just gonna pay my bills now, I may as well, there's not much point fighting it. That would leave me with 9,429 simoleons. So if I took my grand total property value, which is less than what we actually paid for the property, of 839,666, and divide it by our weekly income, or our weekly profit, I should say, of 9,429, that would take us to 89. So it would take approximately 89 weeks to get a return on investment of all of these properties we own. Was it worth it? Probably not. I don't think rental properties are worth it, you know? Oh, rent collected, 22,566. That's even less. This does not include rent from your tenants that are overdue. Oh, okay. Well, we did finally get our rent. It wasn't a week later, it was more like nine days later. So actually I'm not making nine grand in profit a week. I'm actually making five grand in profit a week. Which means I was wrong. It would not take me 89 weeks to pay off or get all of the money back from my properties. It would actually take 165 weeks to earn back the money if I had paid for those properties for what they're listed at in Build and Buy, which is less than what we paid. So basically we've just pissed all that money up the wall with no shot in hell of getting it back. Maybe this is one of those things where like if you're doing a decades challenge and you're playing as like medieval sims, then get them to buy rental properties and just keep passing them down until you're at like the 60th generation and then maybe you'll start making money, then maybe it'll start being worth it. But you know what? I started this video with a question and I've ended it with an answer. Somewhat, somewhat of an answer. Been a bit disappointing this one. But on that note, I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.